What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 30. And WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys, you guys know what that is. That is the best episodic customizing WWE Action Figure video series on YouTube. So the last time on WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys, we did complete Elite Series 69. We took the entire wave. I believe every, every figure in the wave got some work done. Maybe not the Miz. I can't remember. But we took every figure in that wave. I just said it again, even though I just said I didn't remember if we did the whole wave. Shut the hell up, you stupid jackass. So last time we did customize Elite Series 69, guys, we took Ricochet, we took uh, Rey Mysterio, Bobby Trashley, and we mixed them all up. We made them look a lot better. Bobby Trashley is back, and so is Ricochet. We're going to fix them up. This is my my other ricochet that we're going to do a different swap to and this is uh the the episode that we did you know we switched the the shorter trunks to the biker trunks of bobby lashley we're going to actually switch his boots today and i think they're going to look freaking immaculate i'm very very excited for that switch we're also going to do some work on john cena you saw this john cena on an episode of wwe action figure surgery as well uh we switched out the shoes and we switched out the arms and head skin and it looks really nice i'm excited to uh, see what that looks like completed today we're also going to be doing some painting which i'm excited for haven't seen paint on WWE action figure surgery in a while. So we're going to be doing that and we're going to be adding some shirts to some figures to complete them. So I think uh, with all that being said guys, let's go ahead and get into exactly what we're going to be doing today here on WWE action figure surgery episode number 30. So starting off guys, all we're going to do with this Finn Balor, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, I think you guys have. If you haven't, well I made a ch custom training uh, training shorts Finn Balor I guess you could say. He's just uh, shirtless here with his black training shorts and uh, his training shoes with socks. It's sort of like a casual looking Finn Balor. Pretty unique custom. Never seen anybody do something like this before. So uh, I made this out of a Milko Mania Kurt Angle figure that I got on eBay loose for $11. So I figured why not do a torso swap and uh, fix that thing up. So this is what we got going on here. All we're going to do with this guys is just add this t-shirt to it and I think that will look pretty freaking swell. Uh, we're going to do that later on though. We're not going to do it at this very second. So we are going to be doing that swap which is basically just adding a custom shirt. Next up we do have this John Cena and what we're going to do with this we actually we're not going to be able to completely complete him today but we are going to do a lot of work to him here we're going to be adding this shirt here we're going to be adding this black shirt to him which uh, this came from my display but i really wanted uh, john cena to have a different look following the royal rumble because you guys know he is no longer the mdt champion so he can't be rocking the mdt champions here shirt anymore because he's not the champion so he's going to change his look up and he's going to be wearing this attire and he's going to go back to the camo short so we're going to put this shirt on him and we're going to add the chain gang hat that he always wears. I like the chain gang look of Cena. It's my favorite look. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go under here and add white to under the bill and possibly the lining right here and that will make that uh, that will make it look a whole lot better and make it more accurate to the actual hat. And then one day, not today, but one day we're going to take this chain gang John Cena chain from the defining moments and we're going to snip this pendant off. I'm going to color it a more silver like brighter silver and then I'm going to go out and buy a real small small chain and I'm going to attach it to the small chain so that it will be loose and free and it won't be such a stiff necklace like this. It'll actually be, you know, like it'll have weight to it. It'll be nice. It'll be able to like fly around and look good and actually be able to pose around when uh, he's coming to the ring and stuff. So that is something we're going to do. Not today, but uh, I actually may go to Hobby Lobby later on today as you're seeing this video and make that happen and uh, upload it in a future video. So that is what we're going to do with Cena. So just painting up his hat and adding his clothes to him. Another thing Thing that we're going to be doing, guys, is taking this ricochet. We, we saw this last time, but we switched out the lower legs with some car legs. This time, we're going to switch them out with uh, AJ Styles' lower legs and some Daniel Bryan kick pads that we painted up on a different episode of Action Figure Surgery. I can't remember, but uh, we're going to switch out these lower legs to give them a kick pad look just to give them a little bit of a different look. I think that'll look good. We're also going to be adding some knee pads to him, and so uh, we're going to be doing that to ricochet. And then the last swap that we're going to be doing, guys, is switching the boots of this Elite 69 Bobby Lashley and the WrestleMania 21 Hall of Champions Target Exclusive Batista. So we're going to switch these boots. Bobby Lashley has worn these boots before. I know he wore them with white accents. I'm sure he wore them with red accents sometime in the last couple years that he's came back to the company. But I think that these boots and this style, he's worn this style before and so if we switch this over here, it will tie in nicely to the shirt and the trunks over there. So I'm really excited about this swap. I think it'll be really simple and really easy. So that is something we're also going to do. And that is it for everything we're going to do here today on WWE we actually figure surgery guys so I guess the first thing that we can do is start off with the simplest which I guess would be Finn Balor and John Cena then we'll move on to Ricochet and then we'll move on to Bobby Lashley and Batista 
So the first order of business, guys, is literally going to be super simple. I think this will complete the Finn Balor, you know, give him this cloth Balor Club red t-shirt, and I think that will really complete the Balor, give him that casual backstage look that we're going for for this Finn Balor, and uh, it just kind of gives him a different look, you know, it gives him that uh, just regular chilling backstage, waiting on Raw to start, or waiting on SmackDown to start, obviously, he doesn't wear the shirt anymore, but I still think it looks good on the figure nonetheless, and there you go, now we have us a casual Finn Balor, would you look at that right there, it looks beautiful, looks just like him, the black shorts tie in nicely to the t-shirt and uh, he looks good man he looks like he's ready to work out go to the gym hit it and he looks nice very sweet that's very simple and stuff probably the simplest thing we've ever done here on wwe action figure surgery but nonetheless it's something that we added and i really like it so that is it for finn Balor. you guys have already seen it and we'll take another look at that at the end when we take a closer look at everything we've done here today but i guess next up we can do john cena and all we have to do is take the man go ahead and undo the velcro here and stick on the t-shirt and after this we will get to painting on the hat and i'm going to do my best to record that um, for you guys because when i'm painting stuff it's really hard to get on camera that's why i don't have more tutorials of me like painting and doing customs it's because it's really difficult to record if anybody has done customs before um, especially like tried to record it you will know that it is actually a very difficult process and it's not just something you can just do all the time um, so there is that. It's just really hard to capture the details and stuff. So there is Cena. Really love this shirt. One of my favorite shirt designs. You got the armbands, the white and black with the white up top. Camo shorts, gray, black and white shoes. Really looking fresh. And now all we have to do is add his chain here. So we'll add the chain there. And next up, all we have to do is paint this hat. So what I'm going to do is take my white Citadel Air paint and I'm going to take my paint brush and we're going to get started on painting this hat. Alright guys, well there is the hat all done up. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it came out the way I wanted it to look. And you still get that white line there. You get the white on the underside of the bill. And I cannot wait to put it on the John Cena. And we'll put this on him at the very end. But first we are going to move on to Ricochet. And then we will move on to Bobby Lashley. And then we will take a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Alright guys, for our next order of business we are going to be working on the Ricochet. Got the trusty white hair dryer in place here. Got the knee pads ready to go. I, You guys know how we do. I highly doubt that we're going to get it all in one take, but you know, it is worth a shot. We're going to give it our best. My paintbrush is falling on the effing floor. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hit it and see if we can uh, get this all in one take. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. I highly doubt, again, that we're going to be able to get it in one take, but let's just go ahead and see if we can make it happen. Uh, pulling that off is there. And the other leg, the far leg always has problems because, you know, it's, again, it's because it's not right in front of the hair dryer, so it's not going to always uh, get it. And I was afraid that was going to happen. The stupid peg came out, and now I have to pull it out. There it goes, shooting across the backstage area. Now we're going to have to locate the peg, replace it back through the hole. And uh, the knee pads, I don't even have them in the right order, I don't think. I gotta find the right one. You gotta look on the underside of it, find the letter, and I cannot find it. I'm blowing it, I'm blowing it. All right, it says it's the right leg, so let's go ahead and stick this on here. And I, I don't know if this is gonna make him the right height. I bet he'll be too tall. But you know what? It, it, it'll, it'll be okay, I guess. So let's go ahead and stick this over here and see if it'll go through there. And I thought it was going to go through. It's it's like on there, but it's not on there. I don't like to toot my own horn, but I actually I think I actually just got that just then. So congratulations to me. Now we go over to the left leg, and we're going to place this on here. And I know for a fact this isn't going to go on, so I don't even know I'm going to even attempt it. Um, there's just no way in hell that this is going to take place because, first of all, 
Uh, this leg's pretty much already cool. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we can make it happen. Sticking that over the peg there and sliding it through. And oh my god, it was lined up. Then I blew it. And now I've probably blown it again. Jeez. And there we go. So we got both legs on there. And that is it for Ricochet, guys. So now all we have to do is move on to Bobby Lashley and Batista. And then we will be done with everything here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for this one, it should be relatively simple. A simple boot swap. You know, these, these are some of my favorite swaps because they're so easy. All we have to do is heat it up right here and then it should be just a quick stap and pap and flippity flap and bam -a lama jamma we will be done with this episode and we're going to take a look at everything but here we go we're going to try and switch these boots and we will see what everything looks like. All right, guys, here we go. Should be, again, oh, my God, in heaven. It should be easy, but his freaking boots are on freaking fire. My God, in heaven. All right, we got the one boot. Got the second boot. Now go over to Trashley. Pop that over here, and we're going to switch the black boots on the... <laughs> We're going to try and put the boots on the uh, Batista as well because I, I don't want just regular black boots. And I don't want Batista running around with no boots on, man. You know, I, I want him to have some lower leg boots here. So Batista's done, and I guess that's its own fix-up in itself. But let's go ahead and switch over here. We're going to pop these boots onto there. And then the other leg. And then voila. We are done with everything here on WWE Extra Figure Surgery, guys. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and take a look at everything all together. We got Finn Balor, Ricochet, Bobby Trashley, and John Cena. All right, guys, so here's everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 30. You guys will see. I think it's a pretty successful day. The only con that I think I have about all of these figures is that Ricochet's height is still not right. I really don't know. If anybody knows down in the comment section below, how can I, uh, what knees slash lower legs can I use to uh, put kick pads on Ricochet? Ricochet make him the accurate height. I would love to know that down in the comment section below. It doesn't look bad by any means. I really do like how, you know, we got the, the, the white stripes on the black kick pads. Really ties in nicely with the knee pads and the, and the everything like that. So that, in that part of it, I think that Ricochet looks good. Finn Balor, of course, uh, looks good. We pretty much already saw what he looked like, but the t-shirt really completes that casual look for Finn Balor. On Bobby Lashley, guys, this looks fantastic. I really like the way this came out. Uh, swatch, uh, switching out those upper thighs with, uh, with Triple H, the Elite 23 Triple H, and then and, uh, putting the smaller knee pads on there and then finally adding the Batista Hall of Champion boots to this guy really really ties it all together the red boots or the red accents on the boots into the Lashley on the text and maybe the only thing you could possibly add is maybe like a white stripe or two or maybe like white dots to the studs or something to maybe throw it over the top but at the same time I really like the way it looks anyway or maybe a thin white stripe somewhere but my god it looks good this is probably one of my favorite figures just the way that we constructed this if you compare the regular right out of the packaging Bobby uh, Lashley Elite to this I think that uh, this is a hundred times better just the way we switched out those legs the knee pads man what a what a great this is like my favorite thing about the hobby and this and the customizing the figures guys is when when you take a figure, you do some part switching, some Frankenstein efforts, you get him on the surgery table, and while Abushka, you have a figure that looks so much cooler now and looks completely different than the way he did uh, when Mattel gave it to us. So there is Bobby Lashley, really like the way he looks. Who knows when he'll show back up on MDT Live. And then we have John Cena, guys, and again, all we did was throw the shirt on there, and we are going to do that chain fix up to the guy, but the thing that we did here today is we added the white accents to the hat, and here is the hat on the figure. And, yeah, guys, that looks nice. I really like that. I may need to touch it up just a little bit, maybe add another layer of white paint, but I really like the way the white accent looks. It looks just like the hat now, and I don't know why I've never done that before. It just hit me all of a sudden the other day. I was like, dude, that's not even accurate. Like, what are we doing here? So uh, I figured I'd make it accurate, and I guess whenever Cena shows back up on MDT Live and uh, whenever the hell that happens, I guess he will be rocking this attire because I really like it, man. It looks really, really good. Really happy with this. Uh, you guys know that Cena is my goat. He's my favorite of all time so that that looks perfect there but anyways guys that does it for episode 30 of wwe action figure surgery guys please let me know down in the comment section below what you think of finn ricochet bobby lashley and john cena down in the comment section below thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel check out elimination chamber playset review from yesterday as well as other videos on the channel posted on the last few days follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you